Hello guys, my name is Abuza. Today I will tell you about how to run assembly language code in Visual Studio by using uh, Irvin folder and just of the simple steps you need to follow in this video. Uh, to further continue in this video, uh, watch the video till the end and you will know how to run assembly language code in Visual Studio any version. So just start. First of all, create a new project in Visual Studio. Uh, you will create new project in Visual C++. Uh, in Visual C++, you will use Windows Console application. After using Windows Console application, click on OK. Uh, it will take few time to create your uh, project. And once again, you can see the program written in C++ source file. Is available on my screen you have to remove this code to remove this code you have to go to the source files and then right click on these application applications and then remove also remove that second one file that is written in C++ code then right click on your project name go to build dependencies then build customizations and click on mesm this will help us to write some language code in visual studio after clicking on mesm click on ok then right click on source file click on add add new item You will add new item in C++ file and then type name source.asm. Move the extension to ASM. ASM is the extension of assembly language code. And then click on add. As you can see on screen that we have a notepad. If you read the code here, you will see a lot of errors like that files error and other directory has errors. To remove these errors, we will have to set a linker that will allow us to write some language code and perform some of these calculations. To set up linker setting, right click on your project, then go to the properties, go to in linker then additional library directories here you have to add the arvine folder uh, i will give that arvine folder in my description upload that arvine folder that will be used as overhead file in that program and select that folder and then press on ok after that click on apply uh, then go to all options in linker tab then go to the additional dependencies here you have to type the library file which we will use to write assembly language code uh, you have to type rwine32.lib this library directory file will be used in to write our assembly language code and here you can also see uh, some of these library files are available that uh, uh, are used in visual studio to write uh, c++ codes and other codes type here rwine32.lib and then click on ok after that click on apply then go to microsoft macro assembler tab here 
here you can see the option include paths in include paths you have to uh, paste the path of urban folder so go to the place where you have placed your urban folder then copy the address of your urban folder and paste here and then click on ok now you can write your assembly language code without any error so first of all we will write a sample code just to check our linker settings is working or not so just start with uh, some header files basic header files include included in assembly language codes dot 386 then include irwine 32.inc uh, header file of assembly language code dot model small dot stack 100h dot data in data you will uh, initialize the variables as we can for the study how to initialize variables in assembly language in code you will write further your proper instructions relevant to your assembly language and then main prog the starting uh, line of your program invoke this process is the uh, exiting line of your program and then main and p and end main is the uh, end of your program line and then we will check about uh, whether our linker setting is working or not so we will uh, uh, build this program and uh, if it succeeds it means we uh, our linker settings are working and if it not you have to repeat the linker settings so to so to check we have to go build tab then click on build solution as you can see on one screen